In northern Alberta, flying is a way of life. To soar in the open skies and feel the controls at the fingertips is an experience Bill Bays loves. It's also one of the best ways to check crops. So we're going to buzz this strip that we've been looking at in our canola plot. We're going to be traveling north to south and we'll fly right over the, the piece that we've been watching. This is our canola underneath us now. Yeah, our canola's looking nice. And we'll turn around and do it again. Yeah, you can see the canola starting to get that gold colored look. It's gonna be some heat blast in here. It's looking for moisture. With the SAP test results back from the lab, Bill will be able to find out what is actually going on inside his crop. Rick from Agro-K is just a phone call away. Good morning, Rick here. Hey, Rick, Bill Bay's calling from Fort Vermillion. How are you doing? I'm great. How are you, Bill? Good. Hey, first of all, did I take the right kind of sample or did I, what did I do wrong? That's what we should get out of the way first. <laughs> first off, let me show up how you did nothing wrong. You nailed it. You nailed it. We've got a great sample. We've got a great sample in front of us. You look at the very top there, you've got your total sugars. Right, yep. So what's happening is those sugars are being diluted a little bit. And okay. Like, okay, why are those sugars being diluted? Skip down through a bunch of them and go right to the nitrate. Yep. Um, because when nitrates come in, nitrates pull water with them. Uh -huh. So when we have an excessive, and we have a slightly excessive level of nitrate in the old leaf, that's pulling in a bunch of extra water that's dropping down those sugars. Mm -hmm. So when we see those sugars doing what they're doing, they're doing it because of the over application of nitrates. So the SAP test just paid for itself because I'm going to spend less money on nitrogen next year. You got it. <laughs> <laughs> well, <laughs> that's the first time anybody's ever told me to spend less on my crop. So I, yeah, and I know. the fertilizer guy is not, right? <laughs> Yeah, no kidding. <laughs> no, no. I'm happy with what I'm seeing, but I'm curious to know where that high magnesium is coming from so that we can deal with it properly. And then, of course, the higher sodium is holding back the crop, too. So if we can get a zero to six inch depth uh, soil sample in as soon as you have an opportunity, if you're out there today, that'd be amazing. I'll do it today. Because, again, I want to figure out I want to figure out that sodium. As we're drying out, if we can figure out where that sodium is coming from and be more proactive moving forward, that crop is going to handle that dry weather a whole lot better. So I'm going to take a shovel and we're going to take soil samples like you ain't never seen. We're going to be digging around out there. So. Perfect. Perfect. <laughs> Excellent. I look forward to seeing some of those test results and then we can correlate them with the sap. Yeah, you should have come up on this trip. You're going to miss all the fun. I got a buddy coming over with the chopper, so we're going touring with a helicopter. So, you know, that's how we, that's how we check crops in the north, yeah. <laughs> I like it. Right on. Thanks for your time, Rick. Appreciate the call. All the best. Take care, Bill. Take care. Bye. So we want to get a sample. Uh, I mean, I uh, want to take a sample of the soil. Soil, yeah. Try not to step on any plants, Ray. <laughs> yeah. You got that bag? I do. Yeah. Look how hard it is. It's just dry. <laughs> the soil is so mellow in spring. Really dry. Okay, good enough. One more. Gotta go to another location. Friends like Ray are what make this northern community unique. Ray was Bill's flight instructor years ago and stopped in to have a chat. In a couple weeks, this stuff will be a foot higher. That's better. That's, yeah, look at that wetter here. So we got all our nutrients tested in the top leaves and in the bottom leaves. We're going high tech, right? Yeah. Sent it, yeah. Sap testing. Well, greatest and greatest. See, all you do is you take the bottom leaves in the top leaves and compare them like okay. after they're open right like that yeah 
something like this, and then your bottom is your bank, and your top is your, and then your, some of your nutrients move different in your plants, and then they can tell you all weird and wonderful things. Cool, boy, yep. that's getting some pretty serious science. I'm telling you, this is nice. See, I should, we could cheat here. I could go like this and pretend like my canola is that tall, but I better not. Eh? It's actually not bad the way it is. You know, it hasn't been 30 above this year either. That's helping us a lot. Bill's good friend Duffy came down today to take Bill up for a crop tour in a chopper. It pays to have friends in high places. Today we just get to fool around because a producer guy couldn't make it. He's stuck in PEI. There you go. So some people drive down roads and walk in and I said, oh no, I just phoned Duffy and then we just go to help him. <laughs> mentality of get the job done. That all ties into being a good team player when you think about hockey. The quest for the Canova Crown.